Solve 8a squared plus 6a equals negative 5. This is a quadratic, so the first thing I want to do is get the right side, or any side, equal to 0. So let's do that by adding 5 to everything. That gets me 8a squared plus 6a plus 5 equals 0. Is this factorable? I don't know. But let's do the quadratic formula because I love the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. One of my previous videos, I sing that. If you love a, a good song, look it up. Look it up. All right. Let's label you A, let's label you B, and let's label you C, and let's just plug stuff in. Negative B is going to be negative 6, plus or minus, square root. B squared is going to be 6 squared, minus 4. A is going to be 8. C is going to be 5. Let's scooch that over a little bit. Let's Put it all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 8. All right, negative 6. can handle that one. Plus or minus the square root. 6 squared is 36. Minus, let's do this kind of a little out of order. 4 times 5 is 20 times 8 is 180. 160, I mean. So minus 160 all over 16. Okay. That's going to equal negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 164 is going to... Oh, why did I write that out? Thirty-six minus one hundred and sixty-four. And let's switch colors, negative 6 plus or minus 36 minus 164 is negative 128, all over 16. Now, negative 128, okay, let's just move this over here, is the same exact thing as 64 times 2, which is the same thing as saying 8 times 8 times 2. So what we can do is we can simplify this square root. And if you notice, I have a negative under there. So we have imaginary numbers. So the first thing I'm going to do after I write out my negative 6, I'm going to leave myself a little bit of space. Is since negative 128 is the same thing as negative 8 times 8 times 2, I can bring out an 8. And since it's negative, I can bring out an i. What's left over is 2, and that's going to be all over 16. Now, that's an even number, that's an even number, that's an even number. So to go a little bit further, I can pull out a 2, which gives me negative 3 plus or minus 4i uh, root 2 over 2 times 8 cross out the twos, and I can finally say, not let's not use x, it's a, I can finally say a equals negative 3 plus or minus 4i root 2 all over 8. Now that's pretty much it. I can be done if I want to be. I know a lot of teachers might have you split this up and go a little bit further where you would simplify that, but I'm not going to go any further. I'm out of space, and that's an answer that's good enough for me. So quadratic formula with a little bit of imaginary numbers. Fun, fun.